Hold up. Hey guys. Well, you don't need balls to find bullshit. <laughs> So I wanted to talk, get some things out, kind of talk about what's been going on. Get rid of those sideburns. What sideburns? You heard me, hippie. Maddie, for the last time, get rid of those sideburns. A little bit and just a update on my freaking life. Like my life is filled with bullshit. Cat hair, dandruff. Bullshit. I'm literally wearing a shirt that says nope. Ooh, this is super soft. Wow. Okay. It's black, but on the front in pink roping, it just says nope. <laughs> literally just says nope. So it looks like that on camera. It doesn't look pink, but it is. It's a pink. Because that's how I feel. I just feel like, nope, I'm good. I'm good for today. I don't feel like doing any responsibilities. Doing any responsibilities. Okay, so, hi you guys. I, I kind of feel like, not like I'm in a ranty mood, but I definitely feel like I am in a just like hi let's talk type of mood first of all my hair let's talk about that i want to dye it back dark because i'm very much tired of this dirty color like it's just like a dirty color like i feel like it'd look really good if it was like my whole head but it's not so i don't really i don't really care for it anymore so that is something on like my high priority Hmm. I just really want to um, dye my hair and make it feel like it's something that I really enjoy because I know that's like a thing like if you feel good about yourself you're going to want to change more so and it's just good to feel good about yourself and love yourself and to be kind to yourself and that's just a bunch of things that I am learning recently which brings me to... <laughs> Can you smell that? What is that? Sheep, is it? It's cows. No, no, I know what it is. It's bullshit. <laughs> this whole thing about Optivia, everyone, like, I, like I'm literally talking probably 98% of my subscribers did not want me doing Optivia. Like, no one wanted me doing Optivia. Like, I was getting so much hate for it for different reasons. People thought it was junk food. People didn't like that it was MLM company. People just didn't like several different things about it. They thought it was a scam or they didn't think it would work for me or it was too little bit of food or it was the wrong type of food. Like there was just so many different reasons, but literally no one wanted me to do this. There was a handful of people who were rooting for me. Naivety is a state of being naive. That is to say, having or showing a lack of experience understanding or sophistication, often in a context where one neglects pragmatism in favor of moral idealism. And I appreciate those people so much because it's like, you guys always got my back and I just like love that so much. But then there was like this huge amount of people who were just like, no, 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 this is ridiculous. Like they wanted me not to do it. And they weren't rooting for me. They were literally saying, you're going to fail and you suck pretty much so like when i came back and i was just like you know you're right you're right you're right you're right optavia is not right for me i got so much hate i got so much hate for it and i'm just like confused because i'm literally stopping something that you didn't want me to do I tried, 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 and I tried even more. I got so much hate. So much. I just, I feel like this might be one of the worst video, like, thumbs up and thumbs down I've ever received. I pressed, I pushed, I yelled, and begged that 
hopes of some success. But the inevitable fact is that it never will impress. I got a little over 1,400 thumbs up. Over 12,000 thumbs down, and I'm just like... I've no more fucks to give, my fucks have run up dry. I've tried to go fuck shopping, but there's no fucks left to buy. I guess I was just confused, and I know a lot of people are going to come at me and say, no, we're mad that you failed. But I failed at doing something you didn't want me to do. So when I failed at it, I thought people were going to be like, okay, good. Now she can move on to something more healthy or sustainable and something else that works for her. And I didn't get that reaction. I just got a very, very bad reaction. And that made me realize that there's a lot of people who watch me, not everyone, but there's a lot of people who watch me who just disagree with everything that I do, even if it's something that they wanted me to do at one point or didn't want me to do. But no matter what I say, they just think the opposite of what I say or what I do. And that's hard to wrap my head around. Through all this scandalous crap and all the thumbs down and all the hate and everything, one of my most favorite YouTubers and someone that I've looked up to for a very long time made a video about me and I have been subscribed to this person for so long. His name is obese to beast here on YouTube and if you guys remember I have talked about him plenty of times and I watched pretty much all of his videos. I've been watching him for a while and when I saw that he made a video about me, I got scared. I got truly terrified. I was like, oh no, like because you sit on a throne of lies. Look. I'm not kidding. You're a fake. I'm a fake? Yes. How'd you like to be dead? Huh? No, he's kidding. You stink. I think you're gonna have a good Christmas, all right? You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Okay, good. <gasps> he is an inspiration to me. He is incredible. And he gives the, tr the truth, the real advice that you need to hear. And that's what I really I've always loved about him and when I saw his video show up on my subscription feed and it was titled what I think about Amberlynn Reed or something like that I I was so scared I actually started crying a little bit I had tears in my eyes and I got terrified because I was like usually every video made about me is just horrible and rude and people just don't understand where I'm coming from and I feel like I'm very misunderstood you don't understand I hate that word but I really feel like I am misunderstood in a sense and it's mainly because people don't understand what I'm going through I'm over my fuck budget and I'm now in fucking debt <laughs> so then they assume that they know what I'm going through and then they just make up all this like craziness and I clicked on the video and I was so scared I was like oh no but the whole video was super understanding and it's like he got it because he's been there he's been where I was um this guy's lost so much weight and that's one reason why he was always inspiring to me and the fact that he just told you how it is he told you how to lose weight right there in the videos so something he said in his video he said that if he would have documented all the times that he started a diet and failed he would get as much hate as me and that really meant a lot to me because I am very raw with you guys and it's very rare that someone comes on here and is like oh look failed in the diet oh look I'm gonna try this now I'm gonna try this now I'm gonna try this now like no one really does that like every weight loss channel usually that I've seen they only show the positive and they only show their final product of losing weight and they only show what they're doing now instead of what they've done before which usually let's be real someone my size or even a little bit smaller like they dieted several times several 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 times hundreds of times before they finally were successful and I just think it was really awesome that he like admitted to that and I don't know he just made me feel like I really wasn't alone and in the video he said that he wants to help me and if I was willing to reach out to him, he would help me. So I did, I reached out to him because I was more so like flabbergasted at the fact that like one of my favorite YouTubers is like literally talking about me and like wants to help me. I was completely shocked.
she said for now to find an insurance company you know try to get some insurance going so we can maybe one day in the future talk about weight loss surgery and then she started explaining to me that she recently lost 60 pounds and i was like oh my god amazing job because you know me and my stupid jokes she was talking about how her and her um co-workers and employees like in the office where she works in january they were starting like a weight loss thing just like within the office and she was like i want to invite you to join us and every single month you don't even have to pay you come in every single month we can weigh you and you can be a part of this and i was like just her thinking of me and literally telling me I want you to be part of the weight loss journey and competition within my office meant so much to me. I think she just noticed I need the support and I need, you know, the push and the kick, you know, for help. And that just meant so much to me. It just made me realize that this doctor cares. This doctor is there for me. And that makes me feel happy because I don't feel like just another client. She wants me there for the weight loss competition. And she said, message me whenever you can. We'll start this on January 1st. And I was just like, oh, okay. So I did message him and he did help me. And he told me what I need to do to lose weight. And he didn't sugarcoat anything. And he was very kind. And he said that he's going to be there for me. And I am super like just inspired by him and i just feel very grateful that he's willing to take the time from his life to help me it meant so much to me it just made me realize that this doctor cares this doctor is there for me and that makes me feel happy because i don't feel like just another client like he doesn't have to do that and just the fact that he's willing to just means so much to me so it's all pretty simple um, he wants me to eat healthier, obviously, like just more lean meats and vegetables and, you know, uh, sweet potatoes, you know, just things like that. Just food that is better for you. Like it's plain and simple. He wants me to drink a ton of water every day and he figured out how many calories I eat to maintain the weight that I am, which is something else that I want to talk about. A lot of people think that I eat like 6,000 calories a day. That is not true. <laughs> that is not true. Um, that's how much I would eat to gain weight, which I haven't gained weight in a couple months. Thank the freaking Lord. Ugh. Like, I've, my highest weight still is 560. And I know, like, for a while there, like, every time I'd update you guys on my weight, I'd be like, I have a new starting weight. I have a new starting weight. I have a new starting weight. I haven't had a new starting weight in a while. So, I know it's something so small, but I'm so grateful for that. But to gain weight, yeah. 6,000 calories, easily. But to maintain the weight, which um, Obese to Beast taught me all this by doing a little TDEE -E calculator type thing or whatever. To maintain the weight that I have now, I have to eat around like 3,600, 3,800, which is a lot of calories. And I do have binge eating disorder. I have a food addiction. I, that's just how it is. That's just how it is for me. And um, so to know that like that's how much I eat to maintain the weight that I am now because I am maintaining. I am not over 560, just letting everyone know. Um, I am maintaining I'm still in like the 550s and knowing that that's how much I eat every day ugh, Makes me really upset. So by figuring that out He was able to help me figure out how many calories that I need to eat a day To lose weight and he said 2,800 to 3,000 So that's also a lot of calories. So I told him I might just aim for 2,600 
And this is all the same information that I got from past nutritionists. Like, it's like his knowledge and everything that he's told me is pretty much the exact same as like past nutritionists have told me. So I'm just like excited because this is all knowledge I kind of already knew, but it's good for someone who's done this before to tell you, hey, this is what you have to do. And I know you can do it and I'm here for you if you need me. I'm here if you have questions. So I'm just like appreciating that like so much. And I just, I really want to do this. And I'm so tired of people saying I should eat broccoli all day and that's the only thing I should eat. Or people telling me I should just starve myself. Or people telling me, yeah, 900 calories is all you need. Like I am a food addict. I don't need to set myself up in a position where I'll fail. The way that obese to beast wants me to lose weight is realistic. It is sustainable. And it makes it to where by me eating this many calories, the more weight I lose, the less my calories go, which makes sense. And I know a lot of you watch Chantel Marie. So hi Chantel, if you're watching, um, she's also eating around that many calories. Like I think she said she's doing 2,400 and she's losing weight. She's doing amazing. I am so proud of her. I'm watching her videos and I'm just like, this is inspiring because me and her are so much alike when it comes to binging and just like failing. Like we fail and we have failed a lot. And I'm just like so inspired by her. And I'm just like, you are amazing. You keep that stuff up, girl. Like I was checking in on YouTuber um, Amberlynn Reed, but I can kind of understand people voicing their opinions now because it's just, it's almost like doing it on purpose, you know, to like get people to ooh and awe over it or to create some kind of controversy over it or to shove it in people's, like to troll people basically, I guess. Cause you know, the way you were like in the card and you're like, eee, you know, you looked all comfortable and it's like, that made me mad. That really, I'm sorry. It really did because yeah. Um, that pissed me off and I think you should really be walking. I mean, I don't see why you would ride a, a scooter to Walmart to get junk food. She deserves it. She deserves a success story and she's inspiring me. So if she can do it, I can do it. If I can do it, she can do it. If I can do it and she can do it, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it! You can do it. You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Like, we have documented our journey of weight gain, weight sustaining, weight gain, not losing weight, weight gain, mukbangs, weight gain, weight gain, weight gain, weight gain. But the reality is, we just have to do this a little bit different than the average. We don't have calories to eat to weight because we're up here. It's gonna hurt and work for me, and it's more sustainable, and it just makes a lot more sense. Let's say I need chili, and I was like, chili. Okay, I know chili usually like sweet, but it's kind of there because I don't want to tell me I'm blending chili thicker. Everyone needs to help me that. So I said, make your name super good. Every single thing I had in there, I made sure to scan, I made sure to measure it, I was eating like a full game or something. Um, I scanned absolutely everything, and the calories came out to 2200. It was like 2290. So I could eat the whole pot. It wasn't like a full big pot, it was like, I wanna say about half of a pot but I have enough calories to eat all that and I haven't even had a half of it. So I actually messaged obese to beast and I was like, I made a whole thing of chili and it's only like 2,200 calories and I can't eat all that. Like, it's just so crazy because if I was to go to McDonald's, you know how easy it would have been to get something that was like, like just a few things would have been 2,200 calories. Oh my God, yeah. Like if I would have got a 20 piece, if I would have gotten a large fry, a McFlurry, like that's like a normal like thing that I would get. But um, yeah, anyways, I feel like I'm just like so rambly. There's also a lot of people who think that I don't want to lose weight because supposedly that's what makes me gain money on YouTube or whatever. I will say that I'm sure it's very interesting for a lot of people to see someone my size be on YouTube, but I want to let everyone know that I do want to lose weight. That is a very big misconception. I would rather lose weight than have as much money as I do have. And I just think that people don't get that. It's not money that makes me gain weight. It's the fact that I'm addicted to food and 
I need to figure out how to change that. And I know this is gonna be a problem that I deal with for the rest of my life, but I feel like every single day, I get more and more support from the people that matter. And I start to ignore the haters and I start to just ignore all the people who want to see me fail because the people who matter want to see me succeed. So anyways, it was just a rambly video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. This is your brain watching Amberlynn's videos. <laughs> <laughs> it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And it starts bleeding. I'm hemorrhaging. I can't watch it anymore.